Well, dadgum boys, it's a good day. PewDiePie is back, and now I have something to do with all my spare time, which I have none of. So, yeah, cool. All right, hello everybody, and welcome back to the Old Iron series. So today, we have some pretty cool stuff going on. And yes, I know, I'm still sort of sick, so just ignore that. We are gonna be going up to an old logging site that I recently found out that I had. Uh, one of the neighbors that has been here for like 50 years or whatever, uh, he was like, hey, you know you have an old logging site on your property that could have some stuff on it, but it's the roads blocked off by trees and stuff, so you can't really go up there. And I was like, oh, so there's possibly some stuff up there? And he was like, yeah, there's a good chance because they never got it out of there. They never got everything out apparently. So we're gonna go check that out because if there's some cool stuff up there, then I wanna go definitely see it and well possibly bring it back so we're gonna jump in the ford here and we're gonna get going but if you guys do enjoy this video be sure to drop a like and if you're new please do consider subscribing so uh i want to address a couple things uh so i put out a, a community post the other day asking basically what makes you guys click off a video and i got a few comments and a few uh people basically saying well why they do and it's mostly because the videos aren't interesting. So I'm going to try to change that. I'm going to try keep them more interesting. And some people say it's because the videos go too fast. So I'm going to try to take some videos slower pace and see if people like it more. And apparently some people are thinking I'm not moving with the roleplay series. I am. Unfortunately, just the last time we did a video on that, I could not get on. So I wasn't in that video. But be sure that I am moving to that series. Don't worry. I'm coming there. Uh, we're just waiting on a map right now. So... As soon as that's done, it should be done the next couple days here, uh, I will be there. For those of you wondering, that's where that lies. Anyway, so there is a couple things I'm considering about getting here pretty quick. Uh, one is combine, because I'm going to need it eventually. That or I'm going to have to buy straw bales, one of the two. And another thing is some forestry equipment. That I, def I think I'm definitely going to need that because I got to start taking some trees out so I can get some more cropland because right now I really don't have much and I want to I want to change that so we're gonna try to change that here very soon so I guess we'll I may hey maybe there's some logging equipment up there that would be pretty cool anyway so I believe it should the road to go up there is like pr supposedly pretty long so it should be just up here but uh ch -ch -ch -ch, let me check my map okay so I believe we got to keep going so we got quite a bit, we got a, quite a ways to go, so it should be quite the drive up there. I, I think I have enough fuel. Oh yeah, I have enough fuel. Okay, well that's pretty good. Also, I'm hoping to get into the daily uploads again. I know I haven't been doing daily uploads. I've been doing like every second day or whatever. And I want to get back into the daily uploads because I enjoy uploading daily. It's just, uh, we've been pretty busy, but we got all the cows in now, so... I'm good to go for daily uploads pretty much. And basically when we were getting cows in, uh, we were just pretty much working every day. So it's really hard to do daily uploads when you're working every single day, uh, especially if you don't have an editor. I'm going to try my best to get back on the daily. You know, another crazy thing is I was talking to that, that same neighbor and he was like, you know, Bigfoot's out here, right? I'm like, nah, Bigfoot's not real. He's like, yeah, I seen him. And I'm like, nah, there's no way, dude. You must've been hallucinating or something. He's like, nah, dude, I got pictures. And I was like, really? It's like, yeah. So he pulls pulls out uh, this old photo frame. Or this old, uh, what, what do you call them? Flo photo albums, I think. I think that's what they're called. And he pulls it out. And it's literally pictures of Bigfoot. And I'm like, okay, that has got to be someone in a suit. But I don't know. I guess. I guess if we ever see him, I guess uh, I guess it'll be true. Anyway, we should be get just getting up here pretty quick. But man, this really is some uh, beautiful country out here. Okay, so that must be the trees that they're talking about. Alrighty. Oh, there's a shed. Oh boy. Oh boy. This is gonna be cool. I can already tell. Okay, so I can't drive around that But I can in fact walk around it So I wonder if they brought the stuff in the winter here and it just got snowed in and they never came back to get it I don't know what I don't know what's the deal there. So we gotta see if we can maneuver around this. Okay, so it's actually not that bad. Oh Boys, this was a full-on logging site Check this out. Man, they had everything up here. Campers, old fuel barrels. Whoa, they must have been... Okay. So they got lumber here. And they've got concrete. I wonder if they were trying to build a house up here and they just never got to it. Or like a... a well, I guess a logging camp. 
that's pretty cool well that's uh that's definitely interesting so we got a little camper here see this if it's not too bad on the inside uh i could actually use this thing for uh because right now i'm living in a tent so this could actually be pretty useful let, let me check inside okay well i don't know how long this thing's been sitting for but it's actually in decent condition they actually went in and sealed up the inside everything and so it's actually in decent condition the mice didn't even touch it so like wow that okay i'm definitely gonna have to tow that thing home that's for sure but there's there's a couple things in the way but still that's pretty cool okay so shed the main thing that we're looking for here what the heck's gonna be in it I guess we'll see. Well, guys, that's going to be the end of that episode. Oh, no, I'm just, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Don't click off the video. I'm just kidding. Oh, boys. Well, there we go. That. Why? I feel like they could have got this down from here. Even if there's trees blocking it and there's snow on the road. I... Oh, man, guys. This is a Massey Ferguson skitter in mid. Let me see how many hours this thing has on it. Are you serious? This thing doesn't even have 10 hours on it, guys. 10 hours. What? Are you serious? Not even 10 hours. Not even 10 hours, guys. I'm just amazed. Who would leave something this nice here? That, that just amazes me. So the question is, is this thing even going to be able to... Okay, let me check if there's any diesel in it. There is like a little, like the littlest bit. Okay, makes me wonder if, if there is some diesel in here. Okay, I, I guess I can just climb up the ladder. Uh, let me check on the tank here. Okay, so there is a little bit of diesel. All right, but there's not much. It looks like they pretty much drained everything. Okay, well, we are in luck because I was smart and brought some diesel with me. Let me grab this jury can out of the back of my truck. All right, we got the jury can. So let's go and fill this thing up. Now the battery, I guarantee you it's dead. So we're also in luck because I brought that as well. All right, let's fill this thing up. Now, I, I seriously wonder why they put a tank right back here, right behind the seat. I guess, I guess that's where they put it. Okay, so that's got some diesel in it now. So I guess I also got to grab the battery. That's probably a, a thing that you're going to need for sure. Let's grab the battery. Okay, that's in the truck. All right, got the battery. So, I got my wrenches as well, so we should be able to get this thing installed. Alright, yep, yeah, new battery is installed, boys. She is good to go. Man, I, I hope it starts. It shouldn't have any... I, it, dude, this thing has less than 10 hours on it, so I, I don't think it'll... I don't think... I don't think it'll have any issues. Let's see if she starts up, boys. Come on. Oh, yeah, boys. She's going. Yes. Oh, ho, ho, ho. I can't believe that. We have ourselves a Massey Ferguson 320 skitter. Ho, 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 ho. Boys, I am so beyond happy right now. You have no idea. This is perfect. Oh, yes. Yes, this is so awesome. Okay. So we're going to have to get this thing off the mountain. So I'm wondering if we just drive it. We can just drive it off the mountain. Now, actually, I want to check if there's anything in these containers. Uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. That door is seized. Come on. Well, I can't see anything from there. This door is seized. Well, I guess after sitting out here for a while, uh, I guess they would get seized. I can't believe it, boys. We got ourselves a running skitter. Okay, I just wanted to let it warm up here for a bit because, well, obviously it hasn't started in a very long time. So, yeah. Okay, let's... I checked. also checked the hydraulic fluid while I was installing the battery, so we are good there. Oh, boys, everything works. Oh, boy. Uh, how do I stop this thing? How do I stop it? How do I stop it? Uh, oh, oh, okay, I think I got it. Okay, how do we get this thing in reverse? Okay. She's okay. She's in reverse gear. Alright, forward. Nice. Okay. 
Oh boys, you have no idea how excited I am for this. Oh, this is gonna be so epic. Okay, do the beacons work? Yes, boys, they work. How about lights? Oh man. Dude, I can't believe this thing is in such good condition. This is, wow. Okay. So, I think we're gonna have to, yeah, we're obviously, also, everything works, boys. Everything works. Yes, this is awesome. Okay, I'm just gonna leave this run here for a bit because obviously it hasn't ran in a long time, so I'm gonna just let that run for a bit. I have to get these trees out of the way. So I think what we're gonna do is we're just gonna grab the chainsaw, grab a chainsaw here, and we're just gonna go and just clean up some limbs here, and then we should be good to uh, start going on getting this sucker out. So I'll see you guys when this is done. Okay, so I got all the limbs cut off here. So I'm wondering if I just back my truck down, if I can just push them out of the, I should be able to just push them out of the way, technically. Well, can I drop my truck over? All right, ultimate test, boys. Let's see if the Ford can do her. Oh, she's doing it. She's doing it, boys. Yep, she's good. She's good. Okay, well, uh, th there we go. Oh, man. Amazing truck right here. Honestly, it's, it's it's really nice. Okay, so let's jump in the skidder here. Let's see. I'm still trying to work out the controls on this thing. Okay, so that lower... Oh, that lowers it. All right. Well, no time like the present. She's doing it. Oh, okay. Well, that one I just went right over. Uh, okay. Apparently, I don't know how to run a skitter either. Well, because I, I literally have no idea. I'm, I am not a skitter running expert here. Okay. I don't even know how to lower the blade correctly. Give me a break, guys. All right. Lift that up. Well, this is a lot easier than chopping them up, I guess. Okay, come on. Push it out of the way. Do I have to go back here and start where the log's bigger, I guess? It's probably what I gotta do. Alright, let's push this. Push it out of the way. Work, please. No? Are you not gonna work? Lower down. Okay. Well, apparently it's, it's not liking to work. Okay, well, let's see if we can get the last little bit off of here before we try to take this thing down the hill. Okay, well, I think that worked a little bit. And apparently my skitter's just slipping on stuff at this point. Oh, apparently I can lower it down a bit more. Well, there we go. I think that's good. All right, boys. Well, uh, we got ourselves a skitter. So, I'm wondering if I should... I think that's gonna be too treacherous for a truck to get all the way up here. So I'm wondering if I just take this thing and I get uh, the scrapyard guy to give me a ride back up here and I can grab this camper. Okay, we may do that. So I'm gonna get this thing down the hill here and then we'll get uh, scrapyard guy over there. He'll get, I'll give him a call and uh, he can get us back up here. So hopefully I can learn how to drive this thing a heck of a lot better by the time I get down this hill. Or else I may be going off the edge or into the lake. Actually, I just had an idea. So if I take this down to uh, kind of the gas station area, I can always leave it there. I, I can actually leave it at the scrapyard. And then I can always bring it back up uh, later. Because it doesn't need to be back up uh, at my farm right now. So, yeah, that might work better. I think that'll work better. Yeah, we'll do that instead. That just kind of saves a little bit of extra time here because we've got some stuff to do today. And yeah, so we'll get this thing back eventually to the yard because we're going to have to use it, obviously. Man, I just can't believe this that we found such a good skitter down there. I just, it blows my mind that such a nice skitter is down there, just sitting there. Or up there, just sitting there. <laughs> Not down there, up there. But yeah, it's pretty darn cool. I seriously wonder how that bridge could support the weight of a full logging truck. Because they take logging trucks around that all the time. I don't know what the heck they're thinking. 
Okay, well, you know what? The scrapyard's a good ways away, so I'm thinking I'll just take it right up here. Yeah, because the scrapyard's still a good ways away. I didn't know what I was thinking there. Just thinking that it was going to be shorter, but, uh... Yeah, let's get this sucker back. Still that hill, though. That's quite the hill. I don't know how the heck they ever got so much equipment up there. Oh, she's... The engine's revving, boys. She's sounding like she's having a tough time. Nah, it, it can't be having a tough time. It's just... Oh, okay, apparently I popped it out of gear there, but, uh... It, it can't be having a tough time. It's a... It's a skitter they're meant for this stuff. All right, boys, we're just pulling back in here, and I think we'll park this thing. Where are we gonna park this thing? I didn't really think that through. I should really think these things through before I do this. Um, I think we have enough room somewhere. We should, at any rate. I hope so. Uh, probably behind this baler. I'm gonna say we might have enough room. Oh, if not in the barn. We'll have enough room in the barn there. All right, uh, a little bit more. I don't want to hit the baler. Can I not hit the baler, please? Okay, I'm going to call that good there. And that's just inside, so yeah, we should be good. Anyway, I'm going to wait for uh, Buddy to pick me up, and I'll see you guys when we get there. Alrighty boys, so we are now back, so we gotta figure out how in the heck to get this camper out. Shouldn't be too hard, I should just be able to move this over, and I, I can kick all the rocks and stuff out of the way, and I should just be able to back in here, and I should be able to hook it up. But yeah, this camper looks pretty good. Should be nice. Okay, so that stuff is moved, so I should just be able to hop in the truck here, and get that thing hooked up. Alright, whip around here, don't hit the shed preferably, make take a bit of maneuvering here but I should be able to get it jumped in like show there we go all right turn right around here and there we go boys we got her out okay so uh someone I just want to say here real quick is this obviously a different camper than what was placed there before this is just a version that Buck did that you can now pull, so it is private for now, but uh, yeah, that's the story on that. All right, so we should be good to go to get out of here. Now, obviously, I'm going to come back. Uh, I'm going to clean all this place up because, well, it's obviously quite the mess, and I kind of want to clean it up, so. Or I might make a place out of it. I don't know. I guess we'll have to see here, but I will come back here with a dump truck or something, and I will be cleaning it up because I guess, well, you want to have all those oil bins and stuff and all the fuel stuff out of here that way it doesn't leak out anywhere and uh yeah anyway we're gonna get going back here shouldn't be too long it's quite it's it's a good amount of driving but ah uh, it shouldn't be too bad and then i think we'll go and probably end up spraying the uh crops there i just want to keep the weeds out of there i will i'm getting some spray delivered up there uh today from the local shop so we should be good uh it should be there by the time we get back there so uh I guess we'll just have to see. It should be. I hope it is. If not, uh, we'll go have to pick it up. But uh, it was, oh boy, I'm driving all over the place. But it's supposed to be delivered, so. I'm hoping it shows up, because if it doesn't, well, that's going to suck. I'm surprised uh, the tires are still pretty good. I had a little portable air tank. I filled them up, and they were all good to go. So, yeah. It's, it's uh, Looks like it's going to be a pretty little nice camper for me to stay in. I'm going to obviously have to clean it out and stuff, because, uh, well, the guys that left their... Uh, left it in a bit of disarray but there was no mice in there so that's i think is the best part of it uh and, and cuz they sealed it all up so it was pretty good um the door it, it took a bit to open too so they had had they put some sealing right around it anyway here is our turn here so let's get going back up the big stupid big mountain but luckily this truck has a ton of power so yeah it, it just seems to pull right up i probably shouldn't be going this fast with the camper but you know what i am all right we're just pulling up here I think we're just gonna take it up to the same place kind of where the uh where the tent is here so that should be pretty good kind of same place around there yeah that should be good i'll end up taking that tent down here pretty quick we'll just get out here okay that should be good oh, oh don't want to back up don't want to back up but anyway so the crop is looking pretty good i just want to go over it spray it quick that way there is no no uh no weeds or anything oh boy I really gotta watch where I'm going. I'm not watching where I'm going, and that's that could end very badly. 
Anyway, uh, spray should be delivered by the time we get there. The guy was supposed to put it right in the truck, so I'm hoping he pulled it out there because I left the keys in it. And uh, it should be all filled up. All right, well, let's see if that guy did his job and the spare truck's pulled out. So he, I, I'm thinking he did. So he brought two pallets. Do you leave it running? He must have just been here. Okay, so he left it running, but come on, dude. Like, really? You gotta leave it running? Oh, boy, oh, boy. Okay, so he brought two pallets, so I'm guessing he emptied one into there. Uh, so he must have took that back. Oh, well. I, I can't believe we left it running. Like, come on, dude. All right, well, this thing's hard to drive. Let's put it into next gear here. Oh, shoot, I stalled it out. Okay. Come on. There we go. All right. Are we good? Are we good now? I think I think we're good. It's having some trouble going in the gear here. Oh, come on. There we go. I think we got it now. Alright, well, that's better, I guess. <laughs> I did not know how to drive one of these things. They're, they're a little bit complicated. But, uh, okay, we should be good now. But yeah, this thing's pretty cool. It's it's quite the little sprayer truck, so. It's definitely going to be interesting to see how this thing works. I haven't used it yet, so. I'm very curious to see how it works. Well, it seems to go at a pretty good rate, so, I mean, hey, I'm not complaining. Alright. Let's get she make her up the hill. Yes, it can. Well, there we go. All right, let's unfold this thing here real quick. How we can get going. There we go. Something like that. All right, let's turn her on here. I just want to get into the crop here before we start. Turn her on, and we're good to go. There we go. We are spraying. Nice. It's a pretty nice little sprayer. All right, cue time lapse. Alright, well that really did not take long at all. Yeah. Okay, well I probably didn't need to order like two things of spray, but you know what? It's fine. I'm gonna have to spray it a couple more times. Uh, I'm trying to get the best yield out of this crop that I possibly can. Uh, because there's not a whole lot of it, and I want to get the best yield out of it. So, that's the whole idea behind it. Anyway, we'll get this sucker back here. It, does, it worked pretty well. I'm surprised. I'm very happy with it. It's quite the quite the unit I guess you'd call it but uh, yeah never really oper operated anything like it so it's definitely a, a cool change I guess if I can drive it without stalling it out though that would be uh, that'd be nice all right so well we got ourselves on uh, a new skitter I guess you can almost call it new yeah I guess you could we got ourselves a new skitter and uh, yeah it's it's running good oh, oh boy I just about hit that when I back this thing up but yeah Seems to run good. We'll definitely be using this for some more logging and some more videos for sure. Anyway, if you guys do enjoy this video, be sure to drop a like. And if you're new, please do consider subscribing. We're almost at 25k. Pretty close, pretty close, pretty close. Less than 2k away. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed. And I'll see y'all in the next one. You'll mess with the